What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and it's time to give you my top 10 surprise teams from the 2023 college football season. And so officially we're going to give you my top 10 surprise teams, uh, which teams surprised me the most here in the 2023 season. Um, teams that I did not have high expectations for and which teams, uh, you know, I didn't really have going to a bowl game this year. So uh, we're going to give you my top 10 surprise teams. Again, which teams surprised me the most in 2023? And I'm going to do the opposite tomorrow. I'm going to give you my top 10 disappointing teams as well. So stay tuned for that video coming out tomorrow afternoon. So we're going to start with my top 10 surprise teams, again, from the 2023 college football season. And these records are going to be from the regular season. We're not going to be counting those bowl games because that would just take really too long for those bowl games to end. So let's get right into this list. We'll start with the bottom and work our way to the top. As again, we're going to give you my top 10 surprise teams from the 2023 season. So let's get right into this list. We'll start with number 10. Number 10 is the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Georgia Tech uh, last year was 5-7. and seven. This year they go 6-6 six and six in 2023. And when it comes to these top 10 surprise teams, it's not really just about the record and everything. It's kind of about the turnaround and everything. Uh, Georgia Tech, you know, basically was a very competitive team. That's the reason why they're on this list. And, you know, they had that big win over Miami, you know, like in the middle of October, I believe. So Georgia Tech definitely deserves to be on this list. They definitely deserve it, um, not just because of the record, but they're going to a bowl game, I believe, for like the first time in like a while. And, you know, this used to be the worst team in the ACC. They also be, used to be the worst team in the Coastal Division when the ACC had like division divisions and everything. So Georgia Tech, again, a very big turnaround for them this year. Again, they went 6-6 um, six and six this year, 5-7 and seven last year. Uh, definitely a lot of improvement from this Georgia Tech team, but I was very impressed with their competitiveness uh, this year in 2023. So that is my number 10 most surprised team from 2023. Let's now go to number 9. So we stay in the ACC. We got Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech last year went 3-8. and eight. This year they went 6-6. Six and six. It, was, it was definitely a big turnaround for Virginia Tech. Remember last year they had that one game canceled, so either way they could have been like 4-8 and eight or like 3-9, and nine, uh, you know, if they had to play that game against Virginia and everything, but that game did not happen last year. But Virginia Tech, again, this is a team that was not very high on. I think in the preseason and everything, like in my prediction for this Virginia Tech team, I had them at least probably going like 4-8 or eight or something like that. I just think they were not going to be very good this year. But Virginia Tech definitely proved me wrong this year, and they overall definitely turned the things around. Again, after only winning like three games last year, this year they go 6-6. Six and six. And again, it's not really just about the record. It's just the fact that they turned things around and were a more competitive team. I think it's because they were pretty young last year, and definitely, you know, they had all them players come back, and I think that's the reason why Virginia Tech had such a big turnaround. So again, Virginia Tech, they went 6-6 six and six in 2023, and again, 3-8 and eight last year in 2022, so a big turnaround for this Virginia Tech team, and that is my number nine team. Moving on to number eight, um, Iowa State. Iowa State is number eight on this list. Uh, Iowa State goes 7-5 in 2023. They were 4-8 and eight last year, and they were a very young team last year, and I think that's the reason why the record was not really that good for Iowa State. A lot of people thought this is a team that was going to be very good last year. I was not even high on Iowa State last year, and I did almost get their record right from last year. I think I went like with like 3-9 and nine last year, and I was very close to, you know, uh, you know, getting their record right. But this year, I had high expectations for them. Not very high, like, you know, Big 12 championship kind of like hype and everything. I, you know, picked this team to kind of be like a decent team, like a pretty average team. But this team ended up being like a decent team. They went 7-5 and five this year. And again, a very big turnaround for this Iowa State team. Maybe it's because they had all them players that were young last year return this year. And again, they're kind of like similar to Virginia Tech. Maybe Virginia Tech was young last year. And again, they just had a big step back but you know Iowa State had a big step back last year as well and you know second year or actually like you know this year they definitely turned things around and also they had that big win over Kansas State in rivalry weekend uh, they got a win over the defending reigning Big 12 champion so Iowa State again a very good season for them again they definitely deserve to be on this list and they were a very competitive team as well so they finished seven and five in 2023 this is my number eight most surprised team all right, number seven is Cal. So number seven is California. 
Uh, this team was very young last year. They went 4-8 in 2022, so I could see why the record was not very good last year. But this year, they go 6-6, six and six, and I think it's just because of all those players returning. They're kind of similar to both Virginia Tech and Iowa State. And again, some of these teams that you're seeing on this list were very young last year, and they definitely had a better season this year. So... Uh, Cal definitely turned things around, and they had to win against like UCLA, I think, to believe to get to a bowl game. So that's the reason why they're going to be bowl eligible here. And I think this is the first time that Cal's been bowl eligible for a very long time as well. So this has definitely been a very big turnaround for this California team. And again, they in the offseason, they brought in some transfers to kind of help them out, but I still wasn't very high on California. I picked this team to probably go like 4-8, and eight, but you know, this they just definitely proved me wrong. That's all I can really say about Cal. So Cal here, again, a very big turnaround for them after going 4-8 and eight last year, missing out on a bowl game, and they definitely turned things around and had a really good average-type season and also a very decent season here for this Cal team. They're number seven here on this countdown. All right, number six is Rutgers. Rutgers goes 6-6 six and six in 2023. This team went 4-8 and eight last year. Uh, this is a team that I predicted, you know, to probably be the worst team in the Big Ten East, not the worst team overall in the Big Ten uh, Conference. Maybe it was Indiana that I predicted to go, like, you know, be the worst team in the Big Ten East. But Rutgers had a really, really good season. You know, this is a team, not just because of the record, this is a team that was very competitive in almost all their games. They were very competitive against Wisconsin. They were very competitive against Michigan. They were right there in the first quarter with, the, you know, that Michigan team. And then they also were very competitive against Ohio State and Penn State. So Rutgers were very competitive against all the top teams in the Big Ten. Maybe besides Wisconsin, you know, Michigan, Penn State, and Ohio State, they were very competitive. You know, the Michigan game, they were right there in the first quarter. Uh, ended up getting pulled away in the second half. But, you know, the Ohio State game, they ended up getting pulled away in the second half as well. But they were up, like, at the half, like, 9-7 to seven on Ohio State. And then um, in the Penn State game, they were really competitive in that game in the first half as well. So Rutgers, it looks like this program is almost heading the right direction. It's still going to take some time for them to really get back to that, you know, top level and everything like where they used to be in the American Conference. But again, when they came to the Big Ten, you know, it hasn't been good years for them. But the good news is for Rutgers, they're going to a bowl game. So that's the difference there. Uh, that's the reason why they deserve to be on this list. So Rutgers, again, 4-8 and eight last year, 6-6 six and six and 2023 they're number six on this list all right how about number five arizona arizona went five and seven last year and this is a team that went nine and three in 2023 i did predict this team to go like five and seven i mean just because of the schedule how tough it was and everything and i know a lot of people don't agree with arizona's prediction back in the off season for me but this team definitely proved me wrong. They have a chance to win 10 games now. Uh, they do got to play Oklahoma in the Alamo Bowl. That's going to be a very big one there against like an Oklahoma team that lost Dylan Gabriel on the transfer portal. So Arizona has a chance to win like 10 games uh, in out the year of 2023. This was definitely like a big turnaround for Arizona. They ended up in the top 15 for me in my top 25 rankings, and in, in, every you know every uh, week by week it seems like. And I was just very impressed with Arizona. Now they did lose to USC, and just think about it. If they would have won that game. They definitely would have been a lot higher on this list. They probably would have been at like maybe number three or maybe number two or maybe officially at number one. But Arizona definitely had a very big turnaround this year in the Pac-12. Again, they had also a chance to probably make the Pac-12 championship. But they finish here 9-3 uh, in 2023 in the regular season. But they have a chance to finish out the year at 10-3. And, and again, this is a big turnaround for a team that missed out on a bowl game just by one game. Uh, short last year again they went five and seven last year in 2022 so Arizona here number five on this countdown number four is West Virginia so West Virginia last year was five and seven and they this year they go eight and four so West Virginia had a big turnaround uh, you know you look at this West Virginia team last year they obviously lost JT Daniels in the transfer portal thought they would help them out there to get to a bowl game last year I think I predicted West Virginia to be like the worst team in the Big 12 this year. I really wasn't high on West Virginia, but this year, this team turned out to be a really decent team, and they're officially going to go to a bowl game. That's the difference. That's the reason why they're also on this list. It's just because they are going to go to a bowl game, and they had officially like eight wins this year. And um, 
I'm telling you what, if West Virginia does win their bowl game, I might even rank them in my top 25 just because I don't have anybody else in there. Maybe there's other teams out there that I could possibly rank. But West Virginia, I think at one point was probably my top 25. I really couldn't remember throughout the season. But again, West Virginia was definitely a very big surprise team this year. A lot of people thought, you know, this team was not going to be very good after that loss to Penn State. But they were very competitive against Pittsburgh. I think they won that game. I couldn't remember. Maybe they lost that game. But West Virginia, this is a very big turnaround for them. Again, this used to be like a really good, you know, West Virginia uh, football program. It seems like, you know, things were falling apart for them. But now they're back to where they need to be. They finished 8-4 and four this year in 2023. And again, they were overall a very big surprise team. And the fact that they just missed out on a bowl game last year, that's the reason why they're a very big surprise on this list. So West Virginia at number four. All right, how about number three? Northwestern. I mean, who saw this coming? Northwestern went 1-11 last year. They go 7-5 in 2023. I don't think a lot of people saw this coming. And again, Northwestern just one win last year. It was against Nebraska in the Dublin, Ireland, uh, you know, in the Ireland game and everything. Uh, they go 1-11 last year. The offseason was very terrible for Northwestern. I had a very hard time with Northwestern's record. I predicted this team to, like, go 3-9, and nine, I think. Pat Fitzcarroll was fired in the offseason, but then out of nowhere, uh, Northwestern goes 7-5 and five after Pat Fitzcarroll was fired. So it seems like Northwestern's program is back to where they need to be. And I think this could be very well bold for them, you know, heading into next season in 2024. They could very well be like a Big Ten, you know, championship contender next year. Although I'm not really still high on Northwestern, but again, I wasn't very high at all on this team. But they ended up going like 7-5, and five. so it seems like Northwestern has turned things around. And, um, you know, when I looked at that game against Rutgers early in this season, I did watch that game. Uh, Northwestern got absolutely hammered in that game, and it looked like Northwestern was not going to be a very good team. But now they are definitely a very big surprise team in 2023. So that's the reason why they're on this list. And it was a, just a big turnaround because this team only won one game last year. One game, they went 1-11 last year, 7-5 in 2023. So Northwestern definitely deserves to be on this list. They definitely deserve to be here in the top three. So Northwestern, again, 1-11 last year, 2023, 7-5. They're number three on this countdown. Number two is Louisville. So Louisville had a big turnaround this year. Um, Louisville had a first-year head coach this year with Jeff Brom. They went 8-5 and five last year. That's when Scott Satterfield was still there. Uh, they go 10-2 and two this year. So they ended up winning 10 games under Jeff Brom's first year as a head coach. And, again, that's a really big accomplishment if you're a Louisville Cardinal fan and also the Louisville coaching staff. Uh, Louisville is a team that I was not very high on. You know, I did predict this team to go like 6-6. Six and six. I think it's just because of the schedule. The reason why they went 10-2 and two is just because of the schedule that they had. Remember, they didn't have to play North Carolina. They didn't have to play Florida State. Uh, they ended up, you know, not playing Clemson either. So they got, like, the three top teams in the ACC out of there. Uh, they started to play Miami, but they ended up winning that game on the road. But, you know, Kentucky – or actually, like, you know, Louisville has – uh, you know, had some tough losses as of late. They did end up losing to Kentucky there. So that's the reason why their record is at 10-2. and two. And they also lost to Pittsburgh, uh, one of the worst teams in the ACC this year. So uh, that was a very big surprise there that Lobo lost that game. But they had some big wins over Notre Dame and Miami. So that was a really big win for them. And, you know, also they had that win over NC State. And just think about it. If Louisville did not lose to Pittsburgh and Kentucky, this team probably could have gone like 12-0, and but they probably would have been like 12-1 and if you count the ACC championship. They're sitting at 10-3, and but again, this um, list is just basically based off of the regular season. But again, Louisville went 10-2 and this year. That's a huge accomplishment for a first-year head coach in Jeff Brom. It looks like Louisville's program is now heading in the right direction, so we'll see where they're at for the you know next year in 2024 but they got a bowl game to finish things out and they probably will have a chance to win 11 games at the end of the year but a tough loss for them in the ACC championship but I was very close to putting at number one just because Jeff Brown was in his first year but they're not the most surprised team of 2023 and again Louisville's number two on this list but let's go to my number one most surprised teams from the 2023 college football season and that number one team for me 
is the Missouri Tigers. Missouri is is the number one most surprised team in 2023. I think it's really clear that Missouri is number one on this list. It's just because of the turnaround that they had and also the fact that they won 10 games this year. They went 10-2 overall in 2023. This is a team that went 6-7 and seven last year. And, you know, you got to wonder if Missouri fans were just not really excited for the 2023 season just because Eli Drinkwitz was probably on the hot seat. But he definitely saved his job this year. The two losses for them came to, like, Georgia. And I think the other loss came to, like, LSU. Yes, it was LSU. They did lose to that team as well. But if they did not lose that game against LSU, they probably would have been 11-1. and But they were very competitive against Georgia. They were very competitive. That They were, they were like the only SEC East team to be very competitive, uh, at least against Georgia, maybe besides South Carolina. But South Carolina ended up pulling, like, getting pulled away in the second half. So I think Missouri was definitely a very competitive team. Again, it wasn't really just about the record. Uh, this team had a very tough schedule as well. They had to play Kentucky. Uh, they beat them 38-21. to They defeated Tennessee, blew them out 36-7. to So yeah, Missouri was the second best team in the SEC East this year. And that just tells me that Missouri is heading in the right direction. And this team could probably make a jump to the SEC in 2024. But um, again, a lot of things really improved for Missouri in 2023. The defense improved. Uh, you know, the offense was very good. The quarterback for Missouri was really good. The running game was really good. And um, again, they had some really quality wins on their schedule and everything. And Missouri just had a very tough schedule. But overall, with that tough schedule, they go 10-2 and in 2023. So again, Missouri is the most surprised team in all of college football here, in my opinion, of 2023. Again, this is my list. I think Missouri is definitely that number one surprise team. And I think this is definitely the first time that Missouri's had a 10-win season ever since like the 2014 season so congratulations to the Missouri Tigers they had a really good season this year so those are my top 10 surprise teams from the 2023 college football season and again let me guys know what you think here about the uh, about this top 10 list which teams do you think surprised this year uh, give me your thoughts down in the comments below on this list and don't forget I'll have my top 10 disappointing teams tomorrow stay tuned for that video coming out tomorrow afternoon but again this is my top 10 surprise teams from the 2023 college football season and again give me your thoughts on this list down in the comments below thank you for watching this video and stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my lucas ross sports channel